Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So what you guys are about to watch as you can probably see by the length of the video, it's just over an hour I believe. Uh, it's a coaching call that I done with all of our affiliates. So a couple of things to mention before we jump into the entire video because there is so much value in this particular call. This is kind of the first onboarding call for all of the affiliates. Uh, I'll tell you in a, in a second like what do we actually do now, what's the uh, affiliate program. Uh, but in this call you guys will learn exactly how to start the affiliate program, um, how can you make money with it, Literally actual practical steps on how to start a short form content agency pretty much um, how to go viral so even if you're watching this and you don't want to be an affiliate or you don't want to run a short form content agency this video is still very very useful because it will teach you how to go viral on these short form uh, content uh, uh, platforms such as like instagram tiktok and youtube shorts all right now, that out of the way, so that's that's what this video is going to be about. Um, really, really quickly, if you do want to become an affiliate of us, we are giving away 81%. So everything that you make, you get to keep 81%. It's uh, completely free to join, and there is no investment to start. You can literally start right now. Um, if you don't know what affiliate is, if you're completely brand new and you've maybe been living under a rock, um, affiliates is essentially you're going to help us sell something that we uh, provide. Um, every single thing that you sell of us, you get to keep 81%. So why would you do that? Well, first of all, you don't have to build a business. You don't have to build a product. Um, all you have to do is already made. There's already credibility there. There's case studies, there's results. Everything is already there. All you have to do is just put it in front of as many people's eyes as possible. And right now as well, we're doing a, um, a giveaway for the first uh, for the first month. Whoever is going to sell the most amount of um, the product that we're selling uh, will actually get an, a bonus of a thousand dollars as well. So the potential earnings you're looking at about three to five thousand a month. So if you're interested and you want to become an affiliate of us for free, click the link down below as well. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the video. There is so much value in this one. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. And yeah, you just you requested to speak. Yeah. Um, so Alistair and these two guys, um, these are our main three um, guys who we work with when it comes to short form content. And this is before the whole affiliate side of things launched, by the way. Right. So the reason why I have like over 100,000 followers on TikTok um, on my main account is because of Alistair. Uh, and then we have uh, a couple other channels here and there from uh, TikTok and Instagram. And that's where uh, Marius and Gio are taking care of those. Now, these guys are genuinely the best of the fucking best. Um, so these guys know everything there is about TikTok, Instagram, like short form pieces of content, short form marketing, uh, short form content marketing that is. And um, so if yeah. you guys have any questions particularly about that, so such as um, where to post it, when to post it, what kind of hashtags to use, what the description, the sounds, the edits. Um, do you edit it on TikTok or do you edit it off of TikTok? Um, obviously, some massive don'ts. So we're going to cover all of those in today's call. I want this to be as value packed as possible uh, when it comes down to um, the actual selling of the um, courses and making your content go viral. Cool. So, uh, so first things first, um, should we do it in a chronological order, guys? So first of all, let's talk about the account setup. Yeah. Um, let's just let's just go with TikTok for now because uh, I think majority of people here are using TikTok. Um, mm. So I don't know a lot, but I'll say kind of what I know in, when it comes to account creation. And you guys definitely correct me um, where I'm wrong, and I will definitely be wrong because I don't I don't do this. I know you guys are the experts here. Um, but from what I understand, when you create a brand new account on TikTok, for example, in an ideal world, you should quote unquote warm it up, right, for a couple of days. Yeah. Is it like three to five days? Mm -hmm. 12 to yes. 24 hours yeah just like content yeah just like content comment all that stuff follow some people okay. yeah so so yeah, i've just created a brand new uh, tiktok account and for the next like what for the first day i'm not going to post anything i'm just going to go on like the tape memes and shit like that and money wealth uh accounts yeah and i'm all i'm doing yeah. is i'm liking those tiktoks and leaving a comment yeah Okay. Okay. Cool. For the first day. Um, now another question for you guys, uh, when it comes to the archives, I've heard that you should have at least like five videos archived before you start posting them. Um, have you guys heard anything along those lines? Is it true? Or is it, is it bullshit? No, uh, we, we never do it and I actually never heard of it. So, okay. Uh, you can um, definitely go viral without doing this. Yes. You guys have done it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, Alistair, have you heard about that, by the way, or is it just uh, me and Harry? Yeah, well, I've heard of it, but I've never, I've never, I've never done it either. Uh, I've okay. never had to do that. Okay, cool. So, so awesome. So we can easily rule that out. So you don't get, yeah, you guys I'm, don't need to have yeah. a bunch in the archives. Yeah? I'll definitely say it's pointless, hundred percent. Yeah, I won't, I won't do that. 
Okay, so that's the warm up. Pretty simple. So the first day you guys create the account, you need to warm it up for 12 to 24 hours. And also, by the way, I just remembered, guys, um, everybody that's watching this, like you guys do understand that we're giving you guys free fucking source right here, whether you're going to do it for the for the affiliate, or you're going to start your own agency or your own business in the future, you guys are literally getting free coaching. So I hope you guys appreciate that, that these free um, smart minds, so we've got Gio, Marius and Alyssa are, are happy to give you guys free advice. Um, because I swear to God, there are so many courses that are teaching this shit for like a thousand, two thousand, five thousand. Um, but anyway, so we've warmed up the account for the first 12 to 24 hours. Now, before we start actually posting, um, what about the actual account itself? So in terms of the bio, and obviously you can't have a link for now, that's fine. Um, is there anything the guy should know or massive don'ts? And I, I can really think of a couple, obviously, but in terms of the bio itself and the profile picture, is it not really that important? Uh, yeah, so this is also very important. Um, you should definitely have no weird username, like not with much numbers. So if you work with us here on this affiliate program, uh, I would highly recommend you doing something with uh, Marcus. And with the profile picture, I also would say just have something clean. Uh, we have a, a full folder of photos you can use for your profile picture in the, in the affiliate program. So just feel free to use them. Okay, cool. And uh, one more question, by the way, and I, I genuinely don't remember because I don't think I've done it, but are you able to link up like an Instagram and a YouTube to your TikTok or no? But by the way, this is before a thousand followers. I'm asking. Uh, yeah, you, you can uh, link an Instagram and YouTube. So you can actually uh, funnel them to your IG and already start getting sales before actually having 1000 followers. Yeah. So maybe cool. just put in your bio, DM me on Instagram. Very easy. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, cool. Okay. That's why I was asking that. That's perfect. So at this point, we've set up the account. You guys should know that the username shouldn't have a bunch of numbers. It shouldn't be called something weird. Um, also, by the way, just a, just a question. Do you guys reckon if you put like dot OFM or like OFM somewhere in the username, do you think that increases the chance of the TikTok account being banned or not really? No, I don't think so. I think I already seen accounts having dot OFM, so it shouldn't be a problem. Student, right because OFM could mean a, a billion different things so yeah um, it, it actually stands for Ohio fish market so I don't think the Ohio fish market is is illegal so it should be all right so anyway guys so so we've got the account set up um now and, and you guys maybe have like your Instagram links right uh just really quickly in terms of Instagram setup all the same shit right um one piece of advice I can give you guys straight away in an ideal world, if you guys can use an Instagram account that has already been like aged, quote unquote, and by the way, correct me if I'm wrong, by the way, here, Gio and uh, Marius and Alyssa. Um, but I believe like if the, if the account doesn't say like new under the profile picture, um, I feel like people just trust it a little bit more rather than it just being a, a brand new account. Um, but in terms of reach and um, yeah, vi virality, um, does it matter at all? Or they can use like a brand new account on Instagram? Cool. Now, Instagram is a little bit different. Obviously, to TikTok, you have highlights. Um, I would personally definitely recommend you guys um, playing around with the highlights. Um, what I would recommend you guys doing is go to, um, I'll put it in the chat here and I'll say it out loud as well. Go to aura.coaching. Yes. So that's what I was going to say. Go to aura.coaching um, and either screenshot all, because that, that account literally just full of fucking screenshots of results from my students, either screenshot them or what I'd maybe perhaps recommend you doing better is uh, share the actual post itself on your story, on your new Instagram account or like the, the one that you're doing affiliate from. And then every single one of those results, save that as a highlight and just call it like results, right? Because again, the only reason, not the only, but the main thing that makes people buy is just seeing other people win and other results. And um, so that's, a, that's an easy way to increase your conversions. Because what I'm seeing already, and obviously we're going to talk about it in so much detail later in this call, what I'm seeing already from a lot of people is like they're, they're getting a decent amount of views, maybe a couple hundred, couple thousand, um, but they're not getting conversions, right? And people are like, what the fuck? Why am I getting these views? But there's no sales yet. Um, it's because like your account looks brand new right? You need to warm up, but it looks brand new. And they're like, eh, is this even, is this legit or is this a scam? The website is identical, right? For all of us. Like I'm getting so many sales, um, from my account. Um, 
I'm, I'm on I'm an averaging like four or five a day, by the way, for context. So think and my, my landing page, my website is identical to yours. The only difference is just the link, but nobody even sees the link anyway. It just hasn't a, a few numbers like, right? So the only difference guys is my accounts look more credible and are aged more, right? In comparison to your ones. So if you're worried right now about, oh, why am I not getting so many sales? Just give it literally a couple of weeks. Once you guys have a bunch of content, you guys have a bunch of highlights um, um, on your Instagram, trust me, you'll, you'll start getting a lot more uh, conversions. But again, we'll talk about increasing conversions later in the call. But cool. So now we've spoken about uh, TikTok and Instagram. Um, cool. The next one, I guess, really quickly is uh, YouTube. I mean, I don't think there's too much to talk about on YouTube. Just create an account. Again, to call it like Marcus Hustle Clips, Marcus Hustle Talks. Um, here's what I would recommend you doing. Nobody, I, out of like 500 affiliates, I've yet to see a single person do this, by the way. And I promise you, if you start doing this right now, whoever's going to do this first is going to make a lot of sales. All you have to do is download my podcast and even my YouTube videos and just clip like three minute parts out of it or five minute parts out of it and upload those as a YouTube video. So not as a, sh as a short, as a YouTube video. You can do shorts as well, obviously, for that virality, but nobody right now is just repurposing my YouTube videos and my podcasts. And um, guys, this like for one of my YouTube videos, it got um, 41,000 uh, views, like not as a short, as a YouTube video. That is about, like the equivalent of like 5 million views on TikTok because it's a lot harder to go viral on YouTube videos. Um, now, anyway, in the description of that video, I obviously have the mini course in there. Um, I believe we've made just shy of like 17,000 um, pounds just from that one YouTube video. So imagine you guys post like 100 YouTube videos and one of them goes viral in a month and it makes you like five, 10,000. Well, there you go, right? It's completely fucking passive as well. That's the thing about YouTube. In comparison to like TikTok and Instagram, here's one thing I will mention as well about YouTube is you guys can upload like 100 YouTube videos this month, right? That's a lot, by the way. That is a, that is a lot. I wouldn't say um, 100. Let's just say 15 this month, yeah? Um, even then, that's quite a lot. But let's just say you upload 15 YouTube videos this month. These same 15 YouTube videos you upload today, or this month, sorry, can still make you money in the next like two, three, four months. Alternatively, like TikTok and Instagram, that will pretty much never happen. It's it's not impossible, but it's pretty rare for an old TikTok to all of a sudden start um, getting a lot, of, a lot of views. And then the last thing I'll mention about YouTube as well is YouTube audience has a way fucking higher conversion rate than TikTok and Instagram. So TikTok, Instagram has a higher virality rate, but a lower conversion and a lower quality of leads. And YouTube is literally the opposite. So YouTube, you'll get less views. But the views that you do get are way higher um, quality and it's going to have a way higher um, conversion. Yeah. So what I recommend you guys doing is downloading my YouTube videos, all of my podcasts, flipping them. So instead of just re-uploading the whole YouTube video in one go, because that won't work. I'm telling you now that will not work um, because YouTube will match that. It's the same video. You'll probably get automatically copyrighted. I'm not going to copyright you, but I think you'll automatically get a copyright strike, but then it will just won't get any views anyway. So don't do that, but download it, cut it up, even edit it ever so slightly if you want to, like maybe add some, uh, some text, some sounds. You don't have to, um, but yeah, do that. So cool. So that is, um, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, I, I'm not massive on Twitter, so I don't actually know too much about Twitter. Do any of three of you guys have any advice about Twitter? So I don't actually use Twitter, so I have no idea, to be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use Twitter. Like that's gonna be a, a, a pretty hard platform to kind of master straight away, especially if you're like a beginner. So I'll definitely yeah. stay away from from Twitter for now. Yeah, I agree. Unless obviously you have like an account somehow like 50,000 followers and by all yeah, means. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I agree. I agree, Alistair. Uh, cool. Okay. So that's Twitter. One person asked about Reddit, by the way, in the chat. I remember seeing that. Um, do any of you guys have any advice or tips about Reddit? Because again, I, I don't really. I have my team that manages uh, the Reddit for our girls. So I don't really do it. Mm. I've, never, I've never done Reddit at all. For like I never. Clients, so. Yeah, so I never so from, had Twitter, uh, Reddit. Sorry. Okay. Okay. All good. So, uh, okay. Let me give you guys a bit of advice about Twitter really quickly, and then Reddit. Just that I know nothing compared to like some professionals out there, right? So just take it with a pinch of salt. 
Um, but Twitter, um, the biggest thing, obviously, is all about the, again, virality in terms of shares. So, um, so YouTube, TikTok, and um, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, right? It's all about like the watch through rate. Uh, YouTube is about click through rate, like clicking on the video, so the thumbnail. But then, but then afterwards, it's about the watch through. So how long are they watching the video? TikTok and Instagram Reels, I'm talking about, is all about just watch through. So you need to grab their attention the first couple of seconds and keep them fucking stimulated to watch the whole thing. So the, you need to have cuts all the time. Actually, we'll talk about that when it comes to content. Um, but anyway, uh, now TikTok. The thing about TikTok is all about um, uh, sharing, right? So. Uh, I, I'm brand new to Twitter. I've literally only like I've, I've had an account for like two, three years, but I've never ever tweeted up until like um, like two weeks ago, right? But I had one tweet get like uh, fifteen thousand impressions, and uh, the reason why I got so many impressions is because um, I wrote it out to like to get people to share and agree to it, right? So it was something about like um, as a man, you should have all of these traits uh, in order, and I just wrote out what was on my mind. So such as like um, your fitness. Uh, your money and so on and so on, right? Um, and a lot of people were like retweeting it, and that's the great thing about Twitter is like you don't re like sure on you on Instagram people do sometimes share your reels on their story, but it's very fucking rare. Like your reel must be so fucking cool for them to share it on their story, right? Whereas Twitter, like you can have a fucking mid tweet and somebody will retweet it. And what happens? Think about it. If this person has even a thousand, just a thousand followers. All of a sudden, your tweet now is in, potentially in front of an extra thousand people just like that. Whereas like Instagram and TikTok is like you, the content itself must slap and then the platform itself must put, put it in front of a, a thousand people, right, potentially. Whereas Twitter is pretty easy. So all, and then think about this. So this one person retweets your tweet and he only has a thousand followers, right? But out of those thousand followers, maybe like a hundred of them see it. And out of those 100 people that see it, one of them has like 50,000 followers. And he now retweets your tweet as well. So now all of a sudden you got, you know, 51,000 potential viewers, right? So anyway, it's pretty interesting. Um, I agree with Alistair. It's hard to, it's hard to like fucking, uh, you know, get good at it from, from beginning. So um, I'd maybe leave out Twitter for now. But if you know what you're doing at Twitter, 100%, that's another platform. Now, Reddit. Um, I, like I said, I, I have my team manage it all for me, so I don't um, really know too much. The basics that I understand is once you create an account, you need to get your karma up. Your karma is essentially like your likes and your followers in an essence. It's like how many people have engaged with your content, yeah? Um, so you want to boost that up. So there's ways how you can pay for it. You can buy accounts with good karma on it already. Um, but let's just say you have that, then you want to go and find other niches, um, such as like SMMA, e-commerce, dropshipping, OFM. I'm sure there's one about OFM, and I'm sure I'm probably blasted in there 24-7. I don't know. I don't look at it. Um, but you want to find these subreddits. Uh, go ahead and, uh, and uh, apply. Now, again, big tip that I would give you guys is make sure you do actually read the links. Uh, sorry, not the links, the rules about the, each Reddit because they're pretty fucking gay, most of them. Like, they're very like, oh, you can't do this, you, you can't do that. And if, you, and if you fuck up on the rule, they'll just kick you out and, like, ban you. Then you can't get back in there. So make sure you read the, uh, the rules. If you're going to do something that is against the rule, maybe ask one of the moderators um, and so on. All right, cool. So that's all the accounts. Now, should we talk about content, guys? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, anything that we missed, by the way, in terms of account setups? No, I think we had everything important. Yeah, on on Instagram in the bio at um, main account at Marcus Hustle. Um, for the main reason, exactly like Gio just said, just for the credibility, because then they're like, oh, fair enough. Like this guy is is advertising that that is his main account, rather than just like, you know, it has like two hundred followers. And it's like, what the fuck, right? The, the, the website and the business looks legit, but the Instagram doesn't, like, that doesn't add up, right? Because think about it, especially nowadays, guys, you've got to put yourself in their shoes, like in, in shoes of the potential person that's going to be buying. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many people trying to sell shit online, so any little red flag will make them not want to buy, yeah? So anyway, let's talk about content, guys. So this is going to be the, the biggest one. <clears throat> and then we'll talk about increasing conversions, and then we'll talk about other you know, different ways how you could market without posting a bunch of uh, content, right? There, there's a few other interesting ways. So, um, so in terms of content, so obviously you, you should all have access to my uh, folder, Google Drive folder of a fuck ton of content. Um, <clears throat> there's content in there. 
which is just a bunch of different stuff. There's photos. There's also a folder in there, which is all like my old brokey days. This is when I was like a teenager slash when I was working like my nine to fives. Um, so have a look at those. Those are good for like, like the come up kind of uh, TikToks. Um, but anyway, when it comes to content, I want to talk to you guys or uh, it's for the for the free speakers first. So Alistair, we'll go with you first, bro. Um, I know there's obviously a lot you can give them advice on, um, but just try and do it in like, a, I guess, a chronological order, or like the biggest tips that you could give them. So do's and don'ts when it comes to like uh, viral content. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so obviously, if you're doing anything like TikTok, uh, just obviously just don't put OnlyFans. That's obviously like a basic thing. Um, also, I'd say if you want to, to basically go viral pretty easily in a sense, um, just use clips from podcasts, but make sure they are well edited. So filters and text on them. And then if you are trying to even uh, try to... Mo- yeah, hello? Just, just a question, bro. Uh, when you say edited, by the way, you're talking about edited on TikTok, right? Rather than like Premiere Pro or like Final well, Cut? Well... It'd be better on Premiere Pro or CapCut, but obviously, if you can't do that, I'd probably just post raw footage, but obviously, it's not going to do as well then. Um, But yeah, if people are good at CapCut, then definitely use CapCut. Um, But like, if you're trying to get like easy views as well, um, this is obviously up to you. You can kind of talk about other industries. So like, you could say how OFM is better than like dropshipping, you know, Forex, because then that's going to cause like a stir in the comments, even though that might not like convert well, it's still going to, it's, it's going to get your account out there. Uh, so I'll definitely do that. It's I just, remember, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, bro. Some of the TikToks that you posted on my account that done really well were the ones where we compared like OFM to like SMA and dropshipping and e-com. And the reason why they do so well is exactly what you just said, bro. Like the people that, because obviously TikTok clearly says like, oh, OFM is better, etc., right? Yeah. Uh, and then the people who are doing SMA or dropshipping or e-com, they're in the comments like, nah, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> da, 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 da. Which obviously boosts the engagement, which then boosts more viewers, which then boosts more sales. Um, so, so another takeaway from what you just said there, Alistair, is in a nutshell, is like post essentially controversial yeah. um, posts. Now, just just uh, please, 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 by the way, I want to add a little side note. Please, like at the end of the day, you are representing me. So <laughs> try not, when I say controversial, I don't mean like, don't get me fucking cancelled out here. But um, but like you can do controversial about other business models. Like I would never have an issue with you posting a TikTok saying like SMA is shit or e-commerce is shit, right? Um, obviously, you can't put the word shit, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, but cool, Alistair, anything else, bro? Um... Well, pretty yeah, pretty much it's just about doing like talking about other industries as well because like OFM is obviously now now known, but obviously dropshipping is a lot more known, forex is a lot more known, SMMA, you know, it's it's a lot more known. So it's like just try talk about like other industries on your account. It, obviously, doing this starting up, don't don't do this all the time. And then, like I said, um, maybe even try in a sense not say his name, but even speak about Andrew Tate on your account. Uh, I remember I, I've had a few videos where I basically said how Marcus is better than Andrew Tate, but I just said it's, it's some bald guy. And that, and I, I did two videos about that. Like one got one mil, other got like 800k. And I did that in the same week. So it's just like, just try, obviously it is about, you know, posting stuff about OFM, but like try speak about other industries that are even more known basically. But yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say for now. Okay. Awesome. Cheers for that, bro. And, uh, and Gio. Okay. Because like uh, the the followers, right? Like the audience, if they if, if they if they initially saw like a podcast clip and then they followed the account, but then the next clip or the rest of the clips are like lifestyle, they're going to be like, what the hell? I didn't follow for this, and then they might unfollow, right? Okay, yeah. So there was one that I shared on my Instagram story uh, like three days ago. This is from an affiliate. I, f- I hope he's in this call here. Um, and yeah, like the first second of the TikTok was just like maybe like five, 10 different clips, just quickly like da 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 And it said like, uh, to increase your income, I think it was, you must increase your hunger um, and you must get better or something like that. And then each time the guy, like the, the voice was saying that, um, there was like a second where it just went da 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 and then it had like loads of different clips. And uh, it caught my attention. So that's why I shared it on, um, on my story because I can imagine that would stop people from like scrolling and be like, yo, what the fuck? Like they just get spammed with so much content. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, anything else, Gio, before I move on to uh, Marius? 
Right. So, so correct me if I'm wrong, but your, your microphone's pretty quiet, by the way, bro. But from what I understood, you said go go on the uh, for you page, um, find like a, a a one a video that has a bunch of engagement. Click on the sound, and if there are videos posted in like the today or yesterday in the last couple of days, that means that sound is still trending. Um, in alternatively, if you click on a sound and there hasn't been a video uploaded for like a week or longer, that means uh, it's not trending no more, and you shouldn't use it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Alistair, by the way, just to go back to you, bro, I literally just remembered something. Um, do you remember we used to do those uh, TikToks where it was like just images and you could scroll along? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. How, uh, do we still post them or, or no? Do they not See, perform as well anymore? They used to do so well, so well, but um, yeah. not, not anymore. Like, there's a few trends now. Do you know? See, I'm trying to think of it. I posted like a swipe the other day. It only got about 4K views. But it was like how how I will dress on my wedding day compared to how I will dress like after I get like a supercar or something. There's like a trend going on at the moment where it's like a swipe. So yeah. there is still definitely a few trends for like for like swiping on photos, but it's pretty hard at the moment. I'll I'll just stick Not to uh, videos. Yeah, it used yeah. to do very very and, well though. Okay, and and also talking about like um just how things change, right? At the time of this recording, uh, this call is the 26th of April, uh, 2023. Now. Right now, I believe Instagram Reels are outperforming TikTok. Is that right, or is it just completely uh, depends? Is way more. Have you found that as well, Alistair? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. It depends because on Instagram, you can use a trend from months ago and it can still do well. That's the thing. Obviously, on TikTok, you kind of can, but it, it won't do as well on TikTok. Right. But on yeah, IG, yeah. if you use like a trend from months ago, it can it can perform extremely well. And a mm. lot of videos on IG Reels aren't, aren't even that good, but it's because it, it literally is popping up at the moment on IG. So yeah, I definitely say IG is doing a lot better than TikTok. Wicked. And on top of that, you guys can have less than a thousand followers on Instagram and have a link in your bio. So yeah. that's a benefit mm. as well. So yeah, so again, just so you guys uh, heard heard it there correctly. So uh, on TikTok, you cannot put on in a, or you shouldn't at least in the bio uh, link in bio. Um, whereas on Instagram, you can you can literally type it L I N K in bio. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. And um, one 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 question by the way before we go to uh, to Marius, in terms of so let's just say I've just created three TikToks. Yeah. Um, can I? Uh, can I download the exact set? Can I, can I, yeah, download the same TikTok and upload it to Instagram Reel? Um, it's kind of a rhetorical question. Um, but, uh, but what should I do there? Uh, would you, would you not like change it around? Uh, and then what about the, is it metadata um, of like the, the video itself? Do you need to fuck around with that or is that like a myth as well? Uh, is it called the metadata, um, Alistair, or is it yeah, something yeah. else? Um, you know? Yeah, it's metadata. See, on TikTok, it's like, so if you run like three accounts and you want to post the same video on all three accounts, you can't really do that on, on TikTok. But if you if you download a, a video through like SnapTik or SaveTik and then post it on IG, then obviously that's fine. But just don't repost the exact same videos on TikTok, if that makes sense. So if you make one video, don't post it across three accounts because obviously it's metadata. And your videos are I'm, 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 I'm gonna really perform well. Cool. So again, I'm definitely not no like fucking computer scientist, so I don't know exactly uh, how it works. But from what I understand, the metadata is like a piece of code that every image and photo online has when you download it. Um, you you visually can't see it, but it's in the behind the scenes of that image. Uh, I think you can find it out like, if you click yeah. like if you right click on it and press info, I believe, right or something like that. Um, you can see it, um, and this this metadata is like a tag. So whenever you download an image, a, a, a video um, from online, it will have a tag, right? Um, which is like the meta metadata. Now, if you don't remove this quote unquote tag, aka metadata, and you just re-upload the same, so let's just say you just downloaded it, and now you're uploading the same fucking one. Um, TikTok isn't stupid. Like they will see, okay, this literally has the same tag as this other video. Um, so let's not push this one that you re-uploaded. Let's just push the original one. Um, well, it doesn't exactly push the one, but either way, they're, they're both going to be fucked. Um, so what you should do, and uh, Alistair, how, do, how can they remove the, the metadata if they want to re-upload the same content? Well, I've seen that well, most people, if they want to use the same video, you basically just like edit it. You cut, you cut it by like, like one second, so, which is it's kind of like a pain though. So I I just make 
fresh videos for each account. Uh, and then okay. really use the same video on all accounts. Okay, cool. And there's also somebody just in the chat here, by the way. Um, he just said, uh, actually, you can post one TikTok on more than uh, one TikTok account. Here is like metadata. Cleaner. Yeah. yeah, cleaner for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called, how do you pronounce that? Adarsis? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> A-D-A-R-S-U-S. Yeah. It's like I said, I, I, I stay away from all that. I just make fresh content for uh, every single account I do. So I've never, I never really use it. Yeah, I mean it's it's a lot of effort, but uh, but yeah, obviously yeah. that has a higher chance of, of it going viral, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Uh, cool. Now uh, we'll go to Marius. In terms of content, um, what kind of uh, advice or anything else that you can give to these guys that we haven't mentioned so far? And maybe think about like, um, yeah, like uh, yeah. the actual clips itself, the cutting, the speed of it, the text, the sound effects, all of that good nature. Yeah, so I think uh, the boys already say it the most. Uh, but what I noticed uh, is definitely quality and post consistent. So if you don't post consistent and don't have uh, quality uh, videos, it's not going to work for you. So let's say you post one, vi like you say, you want to post three videos a day. And then next day you only post one. That's like bad for the account. Just stay consistent with the post. Have quality posts. Have, use good sounds, trending sounds. And yeah, that's actually all you need. Okay, I'm so fucking glad you said that, bro, because um, I'm sure every, all three of you lads would agree, right? I think consistency beats everything that we've just spoken about. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, it's good to use like the sounds and it's good to do the editing and the metadata and all this stuff, right? It's, it's good, it will increase your chances. However, if you are inconsistent, and this, is, this goes across YouTube, um, Instagram, and TikTok, if you're inconsistent, um, the platform will not actually uh, favor you and and push you. Um, so that's fucking huge. Yeah. So even if you ha even if you just want to stay consistent with two a day on each platform, that's fine. But you must stay consistent with it. So you must do two a day. Um, that's huge. Um, anything else, by the way, Marius? No, I think we said everything which is important. Everything else covered. Now, a couple of things that on top of my head, uh, and then we'll um, dive through some questions, and then we'll talk about some other unorthodox ways of selling the mini course that isn't to do with like you posting content and such. Um, cool. So, a um, couple of questions. Uh, calls to action. So, um, should should they have like? Well, actually, maybe I should ask this question instead. Uh, what things should they do? to increase more people actually clicking on the link. So let's just say theoretically, they have the link on TikTok at this point as well. And they obviously they definitely have it on Instagram because either way you can have it on Instagram. Um, now, what are the kind of some tips and bits of advice that we can talk about that will get more people to click on the link? Um, I will just throw out some really quick ones that I, I know off the top of my head. Um, so first of all, uh, on Instagram, every single day they sh now don't spam it because if you spam it then people just unfollow you and they won't want to look at your story right um but every day there should be at least one story um that is like trying to get people to click on a link and you shouldn't put like link in bio click on that because on instagram you can add the link on the story uh, i'm pretty sure you can do it on the on a tiktok story as well but i don't know um so yeah on the instagram story you should actually like you know have a, a story on there where it has like the the button like the link where they can just click on it and they can join and and go on it that way now talking about the instagram story um please whatever for the love of god like don't just fucking like take a, a blank photo like a blank black canvas and then just like put a fucking like a paragraph of text and then just the button at the bottom Right, like think about it logically. Think from your own point of view. If you're looking at it and you're like, would I actually first of all stop and read this fucking bullshit? And then would I actually want to click on the button? So a couple of bits bits of advice, right? First of all, try to have as least amount of text as possible. Try and keep that curiosity on the story. And uh, what do I mean by that? So like obviously tell them kind of what it is. But um, okay, I'll give you an example. So this is something that I've noticed, right? So whenever I upload a new YouTube video and I post it on my Instagram story, like advertising it for people to go and watch it. Um, now, if I just advertise the YouTube video on the story, like a picture of the thumbnail, and then the, the, the button uh, underneath it says like, watch here or watch the YouTube video here. 
on average about 50 to 100 people um out like thousands of people that view my stories about 50 to 100 will actually click on that button and watch the video right now alternatively uh, there was this one video uploaded which is like how i made my first million online that video i believe if i remember correctly i advertised it which was like which was it was some it was like a black canvas uh, i believe it was like a screen or it was like a selfie sorry and it was literally uh, the text was as simple as this it was like um uh, finally revealing the truth dot 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 um and then the button said i think it even said don't click here um Oh, yeah, the button said something, but it wasn't like, watch this. I think, it, I think it literally said, don't click here or don't click this. And bro, I, I, it had like fucking four or five hundred clicks. Four, five, four, or four to five hundred clicks, right? So how crazy is that? Um, but obviously, you've got to remember, like, you won't get as many clicks because you, you might not have as many followers. So just, you know, you've got to build it up. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is with the stories, try and like make it enticing and, and pique that curiosity for them to actually take action and click. Um, so remember that. Now, in terms of TikTok uh, content and getting them to, to click and make, you know, take action and increase conversions. Alistair, have you noticed anything? We'll go with you um, first. Yeah, well, all I know is like, obviously, unfortunately, in the past, it used to be okay to basically put in the comments, you know, go to my bio and then click it but now it's it's a bit weird and obviously i notice a lot of people don't put link in the bio they basically put see his has been i didn't even try this but i know people who put basically uh on the video at the end like what is in my bio question mark and then obviously people people uh click it but it just depends like obviously everyone's heard of you know basically doing link and bio and then instead of putting the i you put like a it's like a one or you basically just like change like a few letters behind of it. So it really, yeah. it really depends. But obviously on TikTok is, yeah, it's pretty hard to, to basically get people to basically check out your bio, but there is actually like a few sounds that are like trending in the moment where it's like, a, it's like a thing on like get rich, then blah, blah, blah. And then at the end it says, um, go check my link in bio and it still gets pushed. But obviously on IG, obviously it's, it's a lot easier because you can literally just put, go check my link in bio and yes. it's yeah. completely fine <laughs> but yeah, yeah. On tiktok it's not it's not like that anymore and uh what about the comment section by the way would you have a comment there and pin it like are you able to have the link in the comments and pinned or no i wouldn't do that no i wouldn't do that because I, I don't do that personally but yeah i would I, I wouldn't do that okay um what about here's an idea um what about pinning a comment on tiktok that says like click on click on my profile something like that which then would obviously get yeah. people to click on the profile and then they would see that there's a link there yeah i mean see it's a thing like i, I obviously like i don't that, i don't do that again but yeah i mean i'd definitely try it but it's just like if you notice your account isn't getting as, as much reach then just definitely just don't do that um mm. it's just it's all trial and like error at the same time yeah. Every, everything's evolving it's, it's every day on tiktok some things yeah. are being basically taken down and, and removed but obviously some 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 stuff still works yeah okay okay cool and uh yeah, yeah geo, geo maris uh you guys you guys go in terms of incre increasing conversions i'm just gonna go for a piss quick i'll be right back uh yeah i think so um but what you guys can do uh so you can uh make a video and then at the end say something like read my profile or uh yeah, something like this, just a small call to action, read my profile, something like this. And also a big game changer for TikTok, how to increase your conversion rate. Uh, you can actually make stories on uh, TikTok now. And you can say something like message me on IG. And from there you can uh, sell them to the course. So yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Okay. Uh, so that's conversions, that's content, and that's the account setup. Um... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's also something I do right now. So I just started an account for Marcus for this affiliate program. And what I do, I post like stories and say something like, uh, like we have, like I have a, some small poll and I ask, do you want to make $10,000 per month? And all these people who say yes, I just message them and like I sell, sell them to the course. So this is also working pretty good. I think I got my first sale with this method. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, and that was interesting, yeah, because I looked at your your um, funnel, and I think it only had like 50 uh, link clicks or something. And I was like, interesting. Mm, yeah. So that actually leads us nicely onto the next part. Um, and this is the second to last, so the last one will be the Q&A, guys, and you guys can ask me questions. Um, yeah, which is um, unorthodox ways and like different ways of getting more sales that isn't necessarily posting content. So posting content obviously is the main one because um, it has the highest chance of going viral. Uh, but there are, there's other couple of ways, so such as what Marius was just talking about there. So that's something that we do on my, my, my own profile, which is uh, I post like a, a story with a poll. Everybody that answers the poll, I go ahead and message them, or my team does at least. Um, so that's definitely, definitely huge. Also, if you're just starting out and you only get like 50 views on your story, go through those people and at least message some of them, right? Um, go through the people that comment. Go through the people that like the content as well. Just start, just start having conversations with them uh, and then send them your link because I promise you, like everybody right now, so there are, how many people there are? So there's 30 more people uh, in, watching right now. Every single one of you guys, I guarantee it, if all of you went on to your TikTok and your Instagram right now and you were to message the people that have interacted with your account so far, such as likes, comments, or story views, if you were to start messaging them and just having a conversation, just a general conversation like, hey, I noticed you interacted with my account, I noticed you followed me, I noticed you liked my post, I noticed you commented, I'm just curious, um, are you into OFM already or you, you, you started an online business? Just have a conversation, three, four messages back and forth, and then send them the link. I guarantee you every single one of you will make a sale. Because like, mm. you guys got to remember, right? It's £37. People, like, they don't have to think about it. They just buy it. The hardest thing for you right now is just getting those people onto the uh, website. Um, so anyway, that was one. Um, another one, which, uh, which is somebody that mentioned already, which is like Reddit and Twitter. So these are technically like not short form content strategies, uh, but you could look into. So for now, I wouldn't recommend it for most people that are starting out because I want you to first start understanding how short form content works. Um, and because that'll, that'll be your best bet. Um, right. Uh, another one, which was what I mentioned earlier, which is the YouTube videos. So definitely download my long form YouTube videos and my podcast and just start clipping them. Uh, like crop it down to like four minutes, three minutes, five minutes um, and re-upload those and then um, make sure on YouTube you start to learn about thumbnails and the title of the video. That's so fucking important. Um, so start learning about those. Um, uh, and then one more that I've got off the top of my head, perhaps you guys have any more, um, is find other pages on Instagram that are happy to do like shout outs um, and obviously don't spend more than like $50, right? Because I don't want you guys to start putting like loads of your own money into it um, because it's, you know, you're risking your own money essentially. But there are so many Instagram pages out there oh, and TikTok pages that will literally charge you like $50 um, to shout out either your page or a link uh, on their story, right? A link on their story might be like 10 bucks. Um, now, think about it. If you just pay once for like the $50 even, and you get like four sales. The first sale has pretty much paid for it all, right? And you made that and made that money back. Um, so have a look at this as well. Like there are so many pages out there that will do these shout outs for dirt cheap. Um, but just make sure obviously they're not saturated. They're in the right market because if you ask a page for a shout out that is like advertising, um, I don't know, sofas or home improvement, like, mm nobody's going to buy it, right? Don't waste your money. But if it's like a page like at wealth um, or pages about like money online, um, you'll have a lot of conversions. Um, now, Alistair, uh, do you, can you think of any other ways or any other things that you could uh, potentially tell the guys about how they can sell more courses? Yeah, it's just two things actually. Uh, one, uh, for TikTok on your story, there's obviously stories on TikTok now. You can literally make like, you can use a video or like a photo and basically just post like a story on TikTok. And then obviously too, it was the one that you said, like, it's hard to find money niche pages on Instagram now that will take like dirt cheap. But I literally found one the other day. And obviously I've, I literally paid an account the other day, uh, 50 pounds, like a money niche account, which averages, I think like a couple million views a month to basically have the affiliate code in his bio so as long as you basically do research and basically find like accounts that are like in the wi-fi like money niche for like ten thousand followers 
Um, they will take pennies because they might be from like, you know, foreign countries, which, you know, small money is like a lot to them. But yeah, I'll definitely yep. say you can basically pay a few small pages on IG or uh, start posting uh, TikTok stories. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And it pays for itself. Yeah. So one or two sales and um, that shout out has paid for itself. Uh, and then those people, like, for example, you pay a 50 pound shout out and maybe like 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 people visit your profile. Maybe only like two, three people buy the course. However, the rest of the eight, 9,000 people, some of them will still follow your account and then they eventually will buy. So you see kind of the results maybe in a month, you know, from, from initially when you pay for it. Cool. Um, yeah, Marius, uh, do you have any other tips or advice on how they can sell the mini course without like, other than posting uh, short form content? Mm, so the only thing I, I can imagine uh, is like also doing these page shoutouts. Uh, I think this will work really good and maybe you can consider running ads, but I wouldn't recommend this uh, because most people don't have experience and it just will be a waste of money for them. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Like I said, yeah, I don't want too many people like putting a lot of money up front, uh, you know, their own money. Um, so and, until you guys are making a lot of money from this affiliate stuff, then I would recommend you, you know, experiment with this because I'd rather you guys make the money. Like I clearly don't need the fucking the, the, the money right now. So I'd rather this is just to build my brand um so just be careful with that so yeah i wouldn't recommend you guys putting too much money into like paid ads or any of that nature for, for right now um cool uh and uh geo is there anything do you think we missed yeah yeah, yeah. okay cool uh, a couple of questions from from me by the way overall just a random quick questions uh the first one is well the only one i've got in my head is in terms of when should they be posting so how frequently and when should they be posting yeah Okay, cool. Five times. And in the evening, preferably, yeah? Cool. Uh, what about VPNs and, um, yeah, things of, and like SIM cards? Do you, have you guys got any experience with that? Any advice? Mm hmm mm hmm Got you. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Marius, is there anything you think we missed? No, I think I v VPNs and SIM cards it doesn't really matter just mm -hmm. get some videos up and then the location like the target audience um, will will do good by itself and then uh, one more thing that i will say and then i got I, we got a lot, bunch of people asking questions i believe now so we'll go into the q a part um one more like last thing that i'll say before that we go into the q a section is just like remember that this stuff like takes a little bit of time um, and it's literally like the definition of a compound effect, right? So when you're starting out, you don't have the audience, you don't have a bunch of followers. And maybe if you're just starting out posting content in the first place, you might not even know like how to navigate around a platform, how to edit it properly, what grabs attention and so on and so on. So uh, all of those things, when you're starting out, that's why it's going to seem pretty fucking slow. Um, but sooner or later, you guys will start making literally thousands because all of the content you're uploading today starts to compound. The audience grows bigger and bigger. For example, like YouTube for context, you can upload like, uh, you know, like I said, 15 videos this month and maybe two of the 15 videos that you upload this month will actually get you sales the next month. Yeah. Um, but obviously if you guys just quit, if you guys, you know, quit early, then uh, it's not going to happen. I would say at least give it 90 days. Um, if it's still somehow not working after 90 days, then fair enough. But I mean, we are here to give you guys advice, calls like this. There is no way you can fail. You know, there's literally no way and it's completely free money. Um, so all that being said, let's answer some questions. I don't have too much time. I do have to head out soon, but I'm trying to see if I can answer some questions. Any certain times for YouTube shorts or does it not matter? Um, Jack, we've so far, we've found that evening time seems to work a lot better. Um, well, I, I, I think it probably goes again, um, along all social media platforms, but we've definitely found like from 7 PM to like 9 PM, uh, is the peak time, uh, for us. That's such a good point. Yeah. That's such a good point. And, uh, YouTube videos itself. So I'm not talking about the shorts. I'm talking about the long form videos itself. All you guys need to care about is a great thumbnail and, uh, the YouTube title. 
okay so make sure you have all the keywords in there you have like again just think about it from your own point of view like if if you were to be searching someone on youtube uh for like how to make money or, or ofm related what would you type right um so make sure you add as many of those keywords into the title uh, of the video and then the thumbnail is something that like grabs attention um like look at eman's t uh, thumbnails for example look at I don't really know. I don't really watch anyone on YouTube. Um, but just have a look at what other people are posting on, on YouTube and uh, copy that. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, why can't we chat in an Aura Management uh, Discord server? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, there's no reason. We just, we just um, paused the, uh, the chat and we just haven't turned it on ever since. Um, <laughs> yeah, we just can't be asked. Uh, is there any way I can work for you guys? Um, I mean, yeah, uh, you, as an affiliate, you're already doing it, um, but we're not hiring right now, my friend. Uh, should we add on our Instagram reels the ad or boost? Uh, and also, is it a good idea to buy followers? Um, so as I mentioned earlier, like if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of money. I, I like I'm I mean, it's good for me if you do it like, you know, it's I'm only going to be uh, happy if you do it. But for your own sake, like if you're short on cash, I wouldn't recommend it because um, especially if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to like boosting and doing paid ads, I don't want you to like lose your money. You know, I don't want you to start this and then lose money. I, I, I literally want all, every single person here to make fucking more money. Right. Um, so unless unless you have like a, a bunch of fucking fun coupons laying about, um, then I wouldn't recommend it. And also, is it a good idea to buy followers? Uh, no, I wouldn't recommend it because it will just fuck up your uh, engagement. How do I effectively target audiences from first world countries? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, do you guys have an answer? Because I don't really. I, I'm assuming the warm up the account is uh, it's a part of it. Yeah, so uh, I think... Uh... It's not even hard, that hard. Uh, once you started posting and got some views, uh, the right target audience will come with the time. So just a thing of time. Okay, interesting. Cool. That, that all makes sense. Um, best way to funnel people from your video to the link. Uh, Jamin, we've literally covered that. Um, so you're going to have to rewatch this video if you join late. Um, if I take a clip from your podcast, I edit it and upload the same video on two platforms. Do you think that is good or is it wrong? If I take the, if I take a clip from your podcast, edit it and upload the same video. Oh, right. So like one on Instagram, one on TikTok. I don't think there is a problem with that. What do you guys think? No, it's not. Just don't post the same video on the same platform. If you post it yeah. on different platforms, it would work. Yes. Yeah, so there would be a problem if you posted the same one on one TikTok account and then your second TikTok account, right? Because then there's both on TikTok. Um, but if you're doing one on Instagram, one on TikTok, that's fine. What's the difference between the main course and the mini course? Um, so the mini course is four lessons and it just covers the basics on how to get started and what is OFM, right? Um, then the main course is um, there's about 25 lessons in there. So it's like a lot fucking bigger. Uh, it, and it actually gives like the downloadable scripts, the PDFs, um, it gives them like the practical of things, right? So think about it. The mini course is just like, hey, here's kind of what OFM is and here's how you could get started. Whereas the main course is like, okay, step one is do this, follow this, do that, say this, copy this, implement that. Like we literally give you everything in the main course. Yeah, that's the difference. Um how uh for how long will the affiliate program go on for is there no there's no deadline for now marcel um so far it's going pretty good i'm enjoying uh everybody that's in here you guys are funny as hell so um i have no plans of uh, of stopping it if anything by the way we have so many things we want to bring to the table uh, we want to bring like a leaderboard where everybody can like see how many links link clicks you've had um, how many sales you've obviously made. We'll have a leaderboard. We'll start doing monthly prizes. So again, just a reminder, if anybody is new here and you guys didn't see the first call, um, this month we're giving away $1,000 to the person that sells the most amount of mini courses. So it's not about who can get more uh, views or followers or anything like that. It's about how many sales can you make in the, uh, by the end of next month, by the way. yeah. Um, whoever has the most amount of sales, you'll get an additional bonus of $1,000. I'll personally transfer it to you. Uh, also, if I edit a uh, video and post it, uh, then a week later. 
Also, if I edit a video and post it, and then a week, fuck me, bro. I thought I was bugging out, but I think it's, uh, it's the way you typed it. Also, if I edit a video and post it, and then a week, no, I am bugging out. Bugging out. That makes complete sense. And then a week later, I re-upload it. Is that fine, or would it get me shadow banned? I don't think I'm gonna get you shadow banned, but you shouldn't re-upload the same content. You should re-edit it, or at least change the meta uh, data that I was talking about earlier. So yeah, by the way, sorry, I was Jack. I was bugging out. You have you you typed that correctly. Um, what is the what is best for selling Instagram or YouTube? Um, so YouTube would be more for like passive. So like you upload YouTube videos today, and it would just passively fucking make you money in the background. Uh, Instagram for like like more volume and more sales, and you can manually message these people. Whereas on YouTube, you can't. Uh, cool. That's all the questions. Oh, how did the payouts right. work? Uh, last question. Yeah, how did the payouts work? Because somebody else, I think Alistair, you asked me this as well at the beginning of the of the of the call. Um, so as you guys can probably tell, this is the first time I'm doing this whole affiliate thing. So I'm new to all of it as well. From what I understand, and I ticked it on Teachable, that Teachable automatically pay you guys out. Uh, I believe it's after like three days or four days, or uh, once you, once you make the um, the payment. Oh, sorry, once you make the the sale, and uh, so Teachable should pay you out automatically. Yeah. Also, just a question, because all three of you guys, so Alistair, Gio, and uh, Marius, because you guys set up the affiliate as well. When you guys were setting it up, has it has it asked you for like your your Sortcoin account number, Alistair, or no? No, it's not. It's not asked me for any deals. No. So, so far, no. it hasn't asked you, like, where it's going to send you the money, no? No, it, well, I, I went on the site the other day, it said to basically put in a PayPal email, but I don't, I don't use PayPal. Uh, <laughs> Is yeah, that the only also, option? Well, apparently, well, so far, I've just been asked for PayPal. That's it. That's the only thing I've been asked for. Okay. I hope it's not um, PayPal. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty annoying, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's PayPal, and I think I read it's a it's a very long delivery time, up to mm. one month. Up to one month. Yeah, Bro, I think shit. we talked about this the other day in the group yeah. chat. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, so I'll definitely look into it. Worst case scenario, by the way, like worst case scenario, um, we'll just manually pay you, like m myself, like I will manually pay you guys. That's that's not an issue. Well, actually, if it's already in transit, then I can't because then either way, like then that means I will manually pay you and you'll get the, the money that's already in transit. So let me look into it. But either way, um, I have been told by so many people that I should move away from uh, Teachable. And this is a fucking clearly another reason why I should do it. Um, so we will be moving away from Teachable, but I just have so many things right now on the pipeline to do, like tasks and projects. Um, so uh, yeah, somebody said maybe use uh, is it WAP IO? I I've heard that before. I've heard of that before. Um, I've been told to use that. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for uh, for jumping on. Um, Geo, if you could send me the recording, uh, we'll upload it. Actually, matter of fact, if you could just do it yourself, brother. If you could just create a um, a different sub channel or a different like a uh, part of the Discord where it's like um, Q and A recording or something, like a call recording. And then uh, if you could upload this to like a Google Drive folder or something like that where they can start watching it for free, that would be fantastic. Maybe we can also upload it to YouTube if that's okay for you. Yeah, sure. Of course. Absolutely. Right. Perfect. Yeah, because yeah. there was so much value in this video. Like this one video, mm -hmm. people would uh, pay a lot of money for. So, um, so guys, if everybody in the comments or in the chat here, if you guys could just put a massive thank you for the, uh, the free speakers that we got. So Alistair, Gio. And Marius, these guys are absolute geniuses when it comes to uh, short form content. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for jumping on. Thank you for asking the questions. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Um, I'll be in the Discord in and out. But yeah, I'm gonna see you guys on the next call. All right, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.